Hi everybody, it's Boaz Feiler again. I'm here at Seven Meals recording this video for you. This is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 18th and the 25th of August 2018. My bum is killing me. I've been sitting on this trunk for 40 minutes now and I can feel my cheeks saying, for God's sake, couldn't you be more padded? Oh, excuse me. Sometimes being slim isn't the right thing. Isn't the right thing. Um, I'm So, don't touch So. No, not So, yeah. So, how is this week like? Uh, we're after the eclipse season. We're at the last stages of Mars retrograde. It's still a hectic time, but it is coming down. The 18th is a day that we can really enjoy the outdoors. It's a day that we can enjoy studies, especially spiritual studies things that open up our minds. It's a day to take as an adventure. It's a great day for sensuality, sexuality, love, relationships, satisfaction, communication. Just be mindful of the differences between the male and female on that day, both within you and, without, uh, and on the outside world. On the 19th, finally, Mr. Mercury is stationing direct and communication is slowly going to become easier as this, picks up, as this planet picks up speed. Uh, navigation through our life is going to become a little easier. And forward movement, scheduling, and so on and so forth. But it's going to take time. There's a very beautiful trine, exact trine between Neptune and Jupiter on that day. It's a spiritual and artistic time a sensitive time, a feminine time. God, we need this feminine energy. And the moon is going to be trining Mercury, sextiling Venus on that day. Beautiful, I love it, you know. Uh, except for that Mercury stationing that makes it a day that we could feel the retrograde in its most intense potency. So if you are scheduling things for that day, make sure you take extra time and extra patience. Other than that, it could be a wonderful day. Uh, the 20th is a day that could be a little bit forgetful or lethargic and impatient, especially early morning. And remember, I'm talking in Central European times. So if you are in the Pacific, take it 10 hours ahead. If you are in North America, take it about nine hours back. Um, the 21st, the 21st is a Tuesday, a trine between the Moon and Sun, trine between the Moon and Uranus. Uh, so basically a good day for innovation and going out of the ordinary. And could be a pleasant day, especially early morning. But from noontime onwards, there's a conjunction between the Moon and Saturn. We could be overjudgmental, both towards ourselves and others in our lives. And we could be too uptight and too cold. And Warmth is an important thing. The moon is going to square Chiron as well on that day. So we could get hurt much more easily or hurt others, meet our own aches and pains. Be careful on that day. On the 22nd, uh, relationships are sensitive. However, it's a great day to do things that are connected with spirituality or artistic endeavors and actually do it in a professional sound manner. But nighttime, we're having a conjunction to Pluto. Be careful from over-dramatization. Be careful from uh, believing yourself uh, too strongly or stating yourself too strongly or going into an emotional drama that you really don't need to go into. And be flexible, be flexible and detached a little bit. Wednesday, the 22nd, Sun moves into a Virgo, happy birthday, all you Virgos, I love you. Um, 
Afternoon time is very energetic, could be a little agitated. Watch it out on the, watch out on the roads or while uh, doing physical work. There's a conjunction to Mars, but it's very energetic. It's a great time for sexuality and sensuality or just bursting out with your creative energy. There's a grand trine in the sky at that time between the Moon, conjunct Mars and Pluto, <gasps> and Juno and Ceres. We're having this trine, uh, except the Moon, through these weeks. It's a trine that transmutes in a very practical, uh, in a very practical manner. The things that we might give or receive to the subjects or people that we are faithful to in our lives or that we receive from them. So things and the, way, the relationships, the way the, the, the giving and taking has been going on between subjects or people in our lives that we have a consistent relationship with can be changed unnecessarily easily. You know, it could be very challenging at the beginning, but it's for growth. We could be dealing at that time with a lot of unsolved emotional issues, a lot of karmatic issues, a lot of things from our past, maybe things connected to family or mother or heritage. Friday, the 24th, is a day to really watch your temper, or watch your temper and watch how you state things and be careful not to say things you'll be sorry for later and lose your patience. It is a day to try out new things and go out of the ordinary. The 25th, we're having another grand trine between the Sun, Saturn and Uranus. It's a great day to take things you feel are important for you forward in a strategic manner. Making this a day that could be good for self-realization, for um, executing your potential in a new innovative way, for dealing with subjects that are important to your own individuality in an adult, straightforward and consistent, responsible manner. It's a good day to enjoy yourself in the company of others. It's a good day for satisfaction. It is a day to watch out for overindulgent behavior, untactfulness, indiscretion and, and just jumping high too much, jumping high too jumping too high, too fast, too soon, asking for too much. Um, and all these days, the 23rd, 24th, 25th, are a buildup of energy to the 26th, which is a full moon. And we'll be talking more about this full moon in the next video. Native Americans used to say this is a very fruitful moon. It's a very pregnant or... or, or uh, When things, when a very fertile moon, that's the word I was, I was asking for uh, or was, was looking for. They used to call it the sturgeon moon, the green corn moon, the grain moon, because sturgeon was, would be caught and, and uh, probably full of caviar eggs. And you can see again the image of plentifulness. The corn used to become green, the grains used to grow. Basically, a time before harvest. We'll be talking about this this time in the next video more. I want to thank you for sharing these. I want to thank you for commenting on them and liking them. They expose these videos to more people. I want to remind you that I'm on a cruise in Norway and I'll be available on WhatsApp from time to time if you need me. And of course, for private consultations, studies, I'm opening up a new English group in evolutionary astrology that you can study with me from wherever you are around the world if you want to join contact me and of course private consultations or private lessons as well any question you have about astrology I'll be happy to answer thank you for listening thank you for spreading the light this is Boaz Feiler live long and prosper goodbye